32 Facts About Our Brain Number 1. Permanent brain damage develops with a 5 to 10 minute lack of oxygen in the brain. Number 2. You can still have brain growth until your late 40s. Number 3. Every time you create a memory, a new neural pathway is formed. Number 4. 20% of the blood and oxygen in your body is used by your brain. Number 5. Human DNA is attacked by a virus that reduces intelligence and affects memory, learning, and brain function. Number 6. The brain of an awakened person generates enough electricity to run a modest light bulb. Number 7. The physician who performed the autopsy on Einstein's body took his brain and preserved it for 20 years. Number 8. The tofu-like texture of the human brain. Number 9. Theta brainwaves, which encourage relaxation, are increased by the fragrance of chocolate. Number 10. During orgasms, the brain releases so much dopamine that a brain scan mimics that of a heroin addict. Number 11. Getting rid of useless information helps the nervous system maintain its plasticity, which is healthy for the brain. Number 12. You don't forget anything when you drink alcohol. The brain briefly loses the ability to form memories when you have a blackout from alcohol. Number 13. The mythical divide between the left and right brains does not exist. They cooperate. Number 14. A research indicated that frequent mobile phone use dramatically raises the risk of brain tumors. Number 15. Lack of sleep has several negative effects on the brain, including slower reaction times and worse judgment. Number 16. Your brain's architecture changes as you learn anything new. Number 17. The overall volume of male brains is typically 8% to 13% greater than that of female brains. Number 18. The same brain region that releases the pleasure chemical, dopamine during sex and eating is activated by music. Number 19. Electric stimulation of a particular area of the brain can provide the impression of certainty without the use of evidence or logic. Number 20. About 100 billion neurons and a trillion glial cells make up the human brain. Number 21. Your brain burns one-fifth of a calorie every minute while at rest. Number 22. After studying the brain scans of those who had just broken up, researchers discovered that getting over a breakup is similar to quitting a drug habit. Number 23. In comparison to cats, Humans have as many brain cells in their stomachs as they have in their heads. Number 24. Despite having billions of neurons, the brain cannot genuinely sense pain. Number 25. 13% of a person's life is spent without paying attention to anything in particular. Number 26. As a woman goes through her menstrual cycle, estrogen levels affect the growth of the hippocampus, which is essential for memory, mood, and emotions. Number 27. Breastfeeding alters the way a mother's brain functions, making her more sensitive to the baby's cries. Number 28. According to a brain scan of Sting, writing music uses distinct brain regions than writing poetry or producing art. Number 29. One sleepless night is the mental equivalent of one legally drunken night in your head. Number 30. Your brain may become smaller if you lack sleep. Number 31. According to research, humans can manage two things at once, but when a third activity is added, they make three times as many mistakes. Number 32. Because of the peculiar structure of a pun, your brain's right and left hemispheres must cooperate to comprehend it. Thanks for watching.
9 Incredible Advantages of Cold Showers It has been demonstrated that taking a cold shower has a variety of well-established advantages, particularly in the mornings to get your day going. Even while we do not advise taking frequent ice baths, having a few well-placed cold showers per week might do wonders for your general well-being and productivity. Here are 9 advantages of taking cold showers. Number 1. Heightens Awareness. Taking a cold shower in the morning may assist increase your adrenaline even if it may seem like agony. While simultaneously raising hormone and neurotransmitter levels, deep breathing responses assist the body get over the first shock of the cold water on the skin. You can perform at your best since your heart rate also considerably increases, improving blood circulation, nourishment, and oxygen supply. Number 2. Improves Immunity. The potential of cold water to increase circulation results in the acceleration of several more organ systems and functions. One of them is the immune system since it has been demonstrated that improved blood circulation stimulates immune system components. Additionally, cold speeds up wound healing and aids in the effective elimination of foreign microbes that may otherwise cause infection. Number 3. Helps in Weight Loss. One of the easiest things you can do is to make use of the power of the cold shower. Research suggests that having a cold shower in the morning can enhance calorie burning by as much as 1500%, which can result in up to 9 pounds of fat loss each year with no more effort. Why not, when all it takes is a quick, 5-minute cold shower in the morning? Number 4. Aids in Muscle Recovery. When elite athletes recuperate from their workouts or training sessions, you'll notice that they take an ice bath. Ice is superior to cold showers for easing stiffness the day after exercise, a condition known as delayed onset of muscular soreness. It has been demonstrated that people who take cold showers for just 24 minutes a session greatly reduce inflammation and discomfort and recover much more quickly. However, a lot of these elite athletes could choose cryotherapy, which the average person does not have easy access to. Number 5. Lower Stress. Numerous organ systems are negatively impacted by stress, sometimes without your knowledge. The production of cortisol is markedly reduced while endorphin levels are elevated after cold showers. Additionally, to lessen the consequences of the increased stress brought on by increased cortisol synthesis, the levels of potent antioxidants like glutathione and other accessory molecules are raised. Your body becomes more resilient to oxidative stress as a result of frequent exposure to cold showers, which over time may help with cortisol management. Number 6. The mood is improved, and depression is combated. As was already noted, cortisol, which is frequently linked to stress, plays a significant part in the emergence of depressive disease. Take a cold shower to increase your nerve sensitivity, which is subsequently sent to your brain. Depressed people's moods are lifted by endorphins like dopamine and serotonin, which are stimulated by this enhanced sensitivity. Another safe and efficient natural treatment for depression is cold water hydrotherapy. Number 7. Enhances the health of your skin and hair. Additionally, taking a cold shower can enhance the natural attractiveness of your skin and hair. Warm water takes a lot more of the natural oils from our skin and hair than cold water does, leaving them listless and dry. Furthermore, studies have demonstrated that hair that receives regular cold water washings has stronger follicles and is less prone to dandruff. Taking cold showers increases blood flow to the scalp, which may appeal to many people looking for solutions to their hair loss. Number 8. Increases levels of testosterone. Since an increase in body temperature causes an increase in the rate of DNA and protein synthesis, testosterone levels rise in response to exposure to cold. This explains why your testes hang lower than the rest of your body. Since heat prevents spermatogenesis and testosterone synthesis, your testes hang further from the rest of your body, where it is cooler. Leading weightlifters use ice baths before competitions because cold water stimulates the testes to produce more testosterone. This, it is thought, boosts the production of electricity. Number 9. You can sleep better. Warm showers encourage sleep. Although cold showers may awaken you, at least in the morning, but may also have a comparable positive impact on your sleep patterns when used at night. Melatonin, a crucial hormone that controls our circadian clock and whose levels rise when the sun sets, appears to be the cause of this impact. Before going to bed, 
take a few chilly showers to feel the difference. So, cold showers may thus be used anywhere because they are so simple to construct. In addition, this is much better if you reside in a cold climate. Cold showers are recommended by many of the most influential and prosperous individuals in the world, suggesting that they must be helpful. Thanks for watching. Two facts about sleep. Number 1. Humans spend a third of their life sleeping. That's about 25 years. Number 2. The record for the longest period without sleep is 11 days. Most people can survive for up to 2 months without eating, but people can only live up to 11 days without sleeping. Number 3. Sleeping less than 7 hours each night reduces your life expectancy. Number 4. Lack of sleep can cause weight gain of 2 pounds, 0.9 kilograms in under a week number five a snail can sleep for three years number six it's impossible to sneeze while sleeping number seven sea otters hold hands when they sleep so they don't drift away from each other number eight cats spend 70 percent of their lives sleeping number nine during sleep memories become more ingrained number 10 horses may stand while they sleep Number 11. Frequently, rabbits snooze with their eyes open. Number 12. On occasion, John Lennon enjoyed sleeping in an old casket. Number 13. David Acheson served as President of the United States for barely one day in 1849, sleeping for the most of the time. Number 14. Sleeping burns more calories than watching television. Number 15. Lack of sleep has several negative effects on the brain including slower reaction times and worse judgment. Number 16. According to a study, women have more emotional dreams and have much more nightmares than males. Number 17. A Hungarian guy was shot in the frontal lobe during World War I, which prevented him from falling asleep. He carried on leading a busy, awake life. Number 18. In a 24-hour period, giraffes only require 5 to 30 minutes of sleep. Number 19. Koalas may sleep for up to 20 hours each day. Number 20. In America, 8% of people sleep nude. Number 21. If your brain doesn't believe you are in danger, it blocks out noises that may wake you up while you are sleeping. Number 22. You may dream up to three or four times more than you typically would if you're depressed. Number 23. In North Dakota, it's against the law to lay down and nod off with your shoes on. Number 24. The branches of trees sleep at night, becoming more relaxed after daybreak and perky before morning. Number 25. 95.1% of Americans are asleep at 3 a.m. On the other hand, 97.5% of Americans are awake by 6 p.m. Number 26. Dreams that are violent may be a warning indication for future brain illnesses including dementia and Parkinson's disease. Number 27. Video game players are more likely than non-players to be lucid dreamers, or to be in control of their dreams. Number 28. According to research, a person's sleep quality decreases the more visually creative they are. Number 29. One sleepless night is the mental equivalent of one legally drunken night in your head. Number 30. According to NASA researchers, the ideal slumber lasts 26 minutes. Number 31. Your brain may become smaller if you lack sleep. Number 32. Utilizing a weighted blanket while you sleep might assist with insomnia and anxiety. Thanks for watching. health advantages of laughter. Did you know that being among other people increases one's likelihood of laughing 30 times? A good chuckle is something that everyone likes, and it's a wonderful way to feel joyful and nice. However, have you ever questioned why we laugh or how it affects our bodies? 
Here are five advantages of laughing for your health. Number one, laughter has a pain relieving effect. People who laugh frequently experience less discomfort and enjoy longer healthier lives. People who have an optimistic attitude in life are said to laugh more frequently. The endorphins that are released when we laugh make us joyful, and the happier we are, the less pain we feel. Number 2. Regular laughing can save you from disease. Your immune system is one of the major beneficiaries of laughter's various health advantages. Your immune system may be strengthened daily, lowering the likelihood that you will get illnesses. In addition to helping us expand our lung capacity, laughing hard increases the amount of oxygen that enters our bloodstream, keeping us healthier than merely breathing normally would. Number 3. There is proof that when we laugh, our stress levels decrease. According to research, following a hearty chuckle, the levels of stress hormones significantly decrease. This is due to the endorphins that are released when we laugh. When we are joyful, endorphins are released, and they can alter a person's mentality for the better. Number 4. Laughing for 10 to 15 minutes each day can aid with weight loss. Because laughing is equivalent to exercising, it burns calories. Endorphins are produced, and our heart rate and blood pressure increase. Laughing burns calories, according to Vanderbilt University Medical Center research. Their findings demonstrated that 10 to 15 minutes of laughing can burn between 10 and 40 calories. Number 5. Laughter keeps people in good health. Even if you are uncertain of the context, you will probably grin if you see people laughing. This occurs as a result of our brain anticipating laughter and preparing the facial muscles to participate in the joy. According to a study conducted at the University College London, individuals are known to imitate or reflect the activities of other people, and laughing is no different. Therefore, you contribute to the happiness and health of others by making others laugh. Number 6. You'll be healthier the more you laugh. The research of William F. Fry, a professor at Stanford University. He would take blood samples from test volunteers while they were watching humorous things at different intervals to explore the effects of laughing. According to his research, more immune system boosting cells are created and are present in the blood when a person is laughing their heart out. This demonstrated that a more forceful laugh resulted in more immune boosting cells, which is good for our health. Number 7. Intentional laughing may indicate a mental health issue. Intentional laughter may be an indication of internal issues or anxieties. Your brain can distinguish between a fake chuckle and a genuine one. Your brain not only recognizes the difference, but it also responds differently to a fake chuckle. When exposed to a false chuckle, it helps us to comprehend how others behave. Number 8. Laughter is a socializing tool. The study of laughing reveals that it is a method of communication and a good indicator of our feelings for someone. When we are among other people and when we are not laughing at jokes, we laugh more. If we are alongside someone, our likelihood of laughing at something increases by 30 times. We can maintain joyful relationships and good mental health because of this. Number 9. Your abs get a good workout from laughing. Laughing exercises your abdomen while burning calories. We breathe fast breaths in and out while laughing, which causes our stomach muscles to enlarge and contract. This indicates that we are exercising and strengthening our abs. Number 10. Our general blood pressure decreases as we laugh. Regular laughing can lower our blood pressure and lower our risk of heart illnesses. This is because laughing causes our blood pressure and pulse rate to increase much like they do when we exercise. Our bodies are subjected to fluctuating blood pressure and cardiac activity when we laugh frequently. We have reduced blood pressure as a result, which also lowers our risk of heart attacks, strokes, and other cardiovascular issues. In addition to being a healthy function, laughing with people is a natural method to communicate. So let's laugh. Thanks for watching. Here are some popular websites for selling photos. 1. Shutterstock, one of the most popular online stores for purchasing images and moving pictures. 
They have a huge market and a global presence. Two, Adobe Stock, one of the most popular online stores for purchasing images and moving pictures. They have a huge market and a global presence. Three, Getty Images. One of the most well-known stock photo websites in the world is Getty Images. They allow selling images to important clientele and have high expectations for quality. 4. iStock. Getty Images owns the stock photo website iStock. With a vast variety of photo kinds that may be sold, they have a sizable and diverse community. 5. Alamy is a stock photo website with a reputation for having a wide range of images. They welcome editorial and artistic photographs of all genres and subjects. 6. 500px 500px is a social network for photographers that also features a marketplace for the exchange of images. They target professional photographers and draw them in. 7. Etsy. Although best recognized as a marketplace for handcrafted artistic goods, Etsy also offers possibilities to sell images under particular categories. 7. Make sure to check the terms and conditions as well as the royalty policies of each platform before deciding to sell photos there. Additionally, it's important to upload high-quality photos that align with market needs and current trends. 10 Things to Know About Brushing Your Teeth Do you recall when you first learned how to clean your teeth? You'll be surprised to learn that many people still make blunders when brushing their teeth even though it looks straightforward. Even more disturbing is how people used to brush their teeth before the invention of toothbrushes. To whet your appetite, here are 10 interesting facts about brushing your teeth. Hash 1 Brushing your teeth right away after eating is harmful. Brushing your teeth shortly after eating might harm your tooth enamel, the outer coating of your tooth. Acidic meals like meat, pasta, and fish erode the tooth enamel. Following a meal, dentists advise waiting at least 30 minutes before cleaning your teeth. Your tooth enamel will have ample time to solidify once again and protect itself from injury. Number 2 A toothbrush that we use today was developed while incarcerated. It's absurd to imagine a time before the invention of the toothbrush. The most typical method of cleaning teeth in the past was to use a rug and soot. In 1780, when he was in jail for inciting a disturbance, William Addis, who detested this method of brushing his teeth, invented the first toothbrush. By drilling holes into a cow bone and inserting pig hairs, he created it. He established a business to produce his innovation in large quantities as soon as he was freed from prison. Number 3 Rinsing makes brushing your teeth pointless. After brushing your teeth, you rinse to eliminate fluoride, an active component of toothpaste. After being extracted, teeth are more vulnerable to oral health issues such as tooth decay, gum disease, and acid erosion. Even after cleaning your teeth, using mouthwash might still remove the fluoride. The only method to spit up extra toothpaste that still contains fluoride is to use it. 
Only after flossing should you rinse with water to ensure that any food particles still in your mouth are removed. Number 4 A toothbrush with rough bristles is detrimental to your teeth. It comes down to the fact that some customers think hard bristled toothbrushes are more effective at cleaning their teeth, which is the main reason why some of them are still offered. The idea that a hard bristled toothbrush cleans teeth more effectively is a misconception, though. Dentists do not advise it since it might cause your gums to bleed and harm your tooth enamel. They advise using a soft bristled toothbrush instead since it gently eliminates plaque from your teeth and gums. Additionally, it can clean teeth in places a hard bristled toothbrush can't. But keep in mind that using a hard bristled toothbrush is still preferable to vigorously brushing with a soft bristled one. Number 5. Simply brushing your teeth won't get rid of foul breath. No matter how frequently you brush your teeth each day, if you don't clean your tongue, you'll still have terrible breath. You should clean your tongue if you notice that it is turning white or yellow. Bacteria build up on the tongue causes it to become white or yellow, and with time, this bacteria can spread to your teeth and gums. Because of this, cleaning your teeth will no longer effectively shield them from oral health issues. You can clean your tongue using the back of your toothbrush, but a tongue scraper works better at eliminating bacteria and avoiding foul breath. Number 6 Toothpaste for teeth whitening might harm your teeth. More abrasive chemicals are found in whitening toothpaste than in conventional toothpaste. Eliminating extrinsic stains or stains from the top layer of your teeth might give the appearance that your teeth are a little bit whiter. Coffee, cigarette, and soda stains are a few examples. However, using whitening toothpaste has a danger since it thins the enamel, making your teeth sensitive and possibly making them look darker. Number 7 There are bacteria on your toothbrush. After cleaning your teeth, bacteria from your mouth remain on your toothbrush. While the majority of the bacteria are unharmful, some can nevertheless lead to diseases. Despite cleaning your toothbrush with water, studies have shown that some bacteria can still be discovered there. For this reason, dentists advise changing your toothbrush frequently. Because a fresh toothbrush is less likely to support bacterial and fungal development in addition to successfully eliminating plaque. Additionally, it's best to avoid storing your toothbrush in a closed container because doing so creates moisture, which germs love. Hash 8 Poor dental hygiene might lead to heart issues. You wouldn't think dental issues or poor oral hygiene might lead to cardiac issues. However, the research discovered that those who had gum disease and poor dental hygiene were more likely to develop coronary heart disease. The bacterial infection brought on by bleeding gums can enter the circulation and harm several bodily components, including the heart. This tooth issue has the potential to cause heart valve infection and vascular irritation. Maintaining good dental hygiene will help you have teeth and a healthy heart. Hash 9 Brushing your teeth without toothpaste is okay. Unexpectedly, toothbrushes are sufficient to clean your teeth. Simply using them to wash your teeth can eliminate plaque. Even dentists recommend dry brushing because it forces you to wash your teeth more thoroughly and removes more plaque. Whether you use toothpaste or not, you should aim to clean your teeth for two minutes. You won't be able to thoroughly clean your teeth of plaque if you only brush for a few seconds. On the other hand, brushing for more than two minutes might lead to tooth erosion or gum recession. Hash 10 An electric toothbrush offers a superior clean compared to a manual one. Due to its vibration or rotational component, an electric toothbrush is more successful in removing plaque. Additionally, it performs a better job of promoting gum health. There is a significant variation in the amount of movement each minute. Depending on the type of electric toothbrush you use, an electric toothbrush may create up to 48,000 movements per minute, compared to a manual toothbrush's 300 to 400 motions per minute. The built-in timer on the majority of electric toothbrushes guarantees that you always brush your teeth for at least two minutes, which makes them even better. Even though brushing your teeth is simple, you may not be doing it properly. To make sure you're practicing good dental hygiene, there are some suggestions to keep in mind before, during, and after cleaning your teeth. By using these suggestions, you may avoid falling victim to misunderstandings and putting your health in danger. Thanks for watching.
healthy info that is popular in America's superpower country. Many common health problems have received a lot of attention in America. Here are a handful of the most well-known health statistics in America. Plant-based diets. Vegetarian and vegan diets, for example, have grown in favor in the United States. These diets are widely used by many people for ethical, environmental, or health reasons. Diets that are predominantly plant-based emphasize eating things like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, and nuts. 2. Gut Health In America, people are becoming more and more aware of the significance of gut health. People are becoming more aware of how gut bacteria affect digestion, the immune system, and general health. For supporting gut health, probiotics, prebiotics, and fermented foods are popular options. 3. Mental Health and Self-Care Self-care and mental health have grown in importance as discussion subjects. Americans are beginning to understand how crucial it is to look after their mental health and are looking for approaches to control stress, cultivate mindfulness, and partake in self-care activities like meditation, counseling, and stress reduction methods. 4. Organic and locally sourced foods. Organic and locally grown foods are increasingly popular among Americans. Chemical fertilizers, synthetic insecticides, and artificial additives are not used in the production of organic foods. Because of their freshness, support of nearby farmers, and smaller carbon footprint, foods that are locally produced are frequently preferred. 5. Functional foods and superfoods. Functional foods go beyond just being nutrient-dense to offer extra health advantages. Berry, leafy green, nut, and seed superfoods are full of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. These foods are becoming more prevalent in American diets as a way to promote general health and well-being. 6. Sleep Health The importance of sleep as a factor in overall health has grown. Quality sleep is becoming increasingly recognized as being crucial for overall health, immune system support, and cognitive performance. The development of a sleep-friendly atmosphere and good sleep hygiene practices are hot subjects. 7. Fitness Technology and Wearables In America, wearables and fitness technology have gained popularity, including fitness trackers and smartwatches. These tools enable users to track their physical activity, keep an eye on their heart rate and sleep patterns, and create objectives for leading healthier lives. Thanks for watching. What is metabolism? The innumerable chemical processes that take place inside your body are referred to as metabolism. They are essential to your survival. Metabolic activities in living organisms include respiration, movement, detoxification, and biological functions including digesting. Additionally, it's essential for protecting vital organs and replacing tattered tissues in your body. A lot of fuel is required for metabolic processes. Your body won't be able to produce that much energy for them to function properly for too long. Fortunately, your body possesses enzymes that act as cheat sheets for these reactions. These tiny molecules speed up metabolic operations by lowering the amount of energy required. What kinds of metabolic processes are there? There are two broad groups of metabolic processes. Let's look at the many categories of metabolic processes below. Anabolism. The term, anabolism, describes the metabolic processes that create big molecules. To move them, energy is needed. Your body needs biomolecules to function, which are produced via anabolic processes. They are also carried out by your body to conserve energy. The process of converting glucose into glycogen for storage is a prime illustration of an anabolic response. Catabolism. Through catabolism, your body can disassemble complicated substances into simpler components. For example, the substantial protein you consume is divided into smaller amino acids. Catabolic reactions frequently release energy, therefore you get energy from the breakdown. What makes metabolism significant? The process of metabolism is crucial to life. Here are the top 5 justifications for why metabolism is essential. 1. It breaks food down. What happens to all the chicken, fries, and chips you eat in your body? Metabolism. 
Your digestive system is where it all starts, as enzymes break down these complex nutrients into simpler components. This indicates that simple fats are formed from lipids, while complicated proteins produce amino acids, glucose, and carbs. These tiny units can be absorbed by your body. They travel to your liver and other tissues after entering your circulation. 2. It releases energy. You need to process the more basic food components you obtain during digestion to turn them into energy. Food breaks down completely to produce CO2 and water. Additionally, they create ATP, which serves as the basic fuel for all bodily functions. 3. It also stores energy. What does the extra energy in your body do? The quick response is to save it for later. The extra calories are either stored as fat or glycogen by your body. For this, there are anabolic processes and metabolic reactions. When your body requires fuel, later on, the energy reserves come and help. 4. It produces essential molecules. For your body to work properly, several other biomolecules are required. Nucleic acids, signal molecules, hormones, and enzymes are a few essential components your body needs. They come into being as a result of metabolic activities. 5. It helps remove wastes in your body. Many bodily functions result in wastes that, if they accumulate, could harm your health. The metabolic mechanisms in your body allow you to get rid of these pollutants. For instance, your body turns hazardous ammonia, which results from the breakdown of amino acids, into urea, which is much less toxic. Detoxification of toxins from various sources is accomplished by metabolic processes. How fast is your metabolism? Metabolic rate is what is meant when someone uses the word metabolism. Your metabolic rate is the amount of energy you consume during a given time frame. How can your metabolism be boosted? Your health may be impacted by an imbalance in the metabolism of your body. Your metabolic rate rises, causing you to burn more calories and maintain your weight loss. On the other hand, a slow metabolism might make you feel lethargic and make it difficult for you to control your weight. Can you take action in this regard? Absolutely. The following list of five all-natural strategies to increase metabolism. Start exercising. Exercise moves your body, which increases calorie burn. The quick bursts of physical activity required by high-intensity interval training, HIT, consume more energy. They might work wonders for boosting your metabolism. Eat more proteins. Following a meal, your metabolic rate slightly increases, giving you the energy you need to break down your meals. The effect is greater for proteins and is referred to as the thermic effect of food, TEF. Drink cold water regularly. Replace your sodas with a refreshing glass of water to reduce your calorie intake. Additionally, your body expends more energy warming the cold water to your desired temperature. Get a lot of sleep. Your metabolism will suffer if you lack sleep. It has associations with several different health issues, including diabetes. Adults should aim for up to 7 to 9 hours of sleep per night, according to experts. Build your muscles. If you have more muscular mass, you'll expend more energy. To develop powerful muscles, start using weights in your training regimen. In conclusion, metabolism is how your body carries out its operations. Metabolic processes are involved in bodily functions such as digestion, excretion, detoxification, and biosynthesis. If your metabolism is sluggish, your body uses fewer calories. By working out, getting more rest, drinking cold water, consuming proteins, and developing your muscles, you can crank it up. Thanks for watching. A popular healthy diet in the United States. The Mediterranean diet is one well-known and well-liked healthy eating plan in the United States. The historic dietary habits of Mediterranean Sea adjacent nations like Greece, Italy, and Spain are what gave rise to the Mediterranean diet. It is well-renowned for its health advantages and stresses the intake of whole, minimally processed foods. The Mediterranean diet's primary elements are one. Abundance of fruits and vegetables. The diet has a focus on a range of vibrant fruits and vegetables that offer important vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. 2. Whole grains. Refined grains are chosen above full grain items including whole wheat bread, pasta, and brown rice. 
more fiber, vitamins, and minerals are present in these. 3. Lean Proteins Protein-rich foods include fish, chicken, legumes, beans, lentils, and nuts. Consumption of red meat is moderate. 4. Healthy Fats The main source of fat in the Mediterranean diet is olive oil. It has a lot of monounsaturated fats, which are thought to be good for the heart. For healthy fats, additional ingredients include nuts, seeds, and avocados. 5. Limited Dairy and Red Meat In this diet, red meat and dairy products are both consumed in moderation. They are normally added infrequently or in little amounts. 6. Herbs and Spices The Mediterranean diet uses herbs and spices to enhance taste and offer variety to dishes rather than relying solely on salt as a flavoring agent. 7. Moderate consumption of wine. Red wine is frequently linked to the Mediterranean diet when it is eaten in moderation, if desired and appropriate. For women, this translates to a small glass, approximately 5 ounces, while for men, it implies up to two small glasses each day. Numerous health advantages of the Mediterranean diet have been attributed to it, including a lower risk of heart disease, a lower incidence of several malignancies, better weight management, and better mental health. Thanks for waxing. foods that prevent cancer. Including items that fight cancer in your diet can help you have a healthy lifestyle. A balanced and healthy diet that contains a variety of cancer-fighting foods can help lower the risk of developing the disease, even if no one food can ensure that cancer won't develop. Here are 10 foods that can help prevent cancer. <laughs> 1. Cruciferous Vegetables Sulforaphane, indole-3-carbonyl, and glucosinolates, which are found in broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, and kale, have been linked to a reduced risk of breast, colorectal, and lung cancer. 2. Berries. Antioxidants like anthocyanins and vitamin C are abundant in blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, and blackberries and help shield cells from harm that could cause cancer. 3. Garlic. Sulfur molecules found in garlic have been associated with a lower risk of some malignancies, including colorectal and stomach cancer. These substances can be activated by crushing or cutting garlic and letting it sit for a short while before cooking. 4. Turmeric. The primary component of turmeric, curcumin, may have anti-cancer effects. Its effects on several cancer types, including colorectal, breast, and prostate cancer, have been investigated. 5. Green tea. Catechins and polyphenols, which are antioxidants, are found in green tea. Breast, colorectal, and prostate cancer risk have all been found to be lower in association with these substances. 6. Tomatoes. The potent antioxidant lycopene is abundant in tomatoes. Lycopene may help lower the incidence of stomach, lung, and prostate cancer, according to research. 7. Leafy green vegetables. Leafy greens like spinach, kale, Swiss chard, and others are loaded with antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals. They also contain a lot of fiber, which may help reduce the chance of developing many cancers, including colon cancer. 8. Legumes. Legumes like beans, lentils, chickpeas, and others are rich sources of protein, fiber, and cancer preventing phytonutrients and antioxidants. They could lower the risk of breast and colorectal cancer. 9. Nuts and Seeds. Rich in nutrients and good fats are almonds, walnuts, flax seeds, and chia seeds. They contain antioxidants and other bioactive substances, particularly in connection to colorectal, breast, and prostate cancer, that may have anti-cancer properties. 10. Fish. Omega-3 fatty acids, which are abundant in fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, and sardines, have been linked to a lower risk of several malignancies, including colorectal and breast cancer. Keep in mind that leading a healthy lifestyle involves more than just particular foods. To further lower the risk of cancer, it's critical to eat a balanced diet, exercise frequently, refrain from smoking, use alcohol in moderation, and keep healthy body weight. For individualized nutritional advice, speak with a medical practitioner or a licensed dietitian. Ten 
diabetes preventing foods. A balanced diet is essential for maintaining and lowering the risk of acquiring type 2 diabetes, even if there is no magic food that will ensure diabetes prevention. 10 foods that can be included in a healthy diet to help avoid diabetes are listed below. One, leafy green vegetables. Consuming foods strong in fiber and minerals like spinach, kale, and collard greens can help control blood sugar levels. Two, whole grains. Make quinoa, brown rice, whole wheat bread, and oatmeal your go-to whole grain option. They have a lower glycemic index than refined grains, which aids with blood sugar regulation and more fiber and minerals than refined grains. Three, berries. Antioxidants, vitamins, and fiber are abundant in blueberries, strawberries, and other berries. In comparison to other fruits, they have a lower glycemic load and can be consumed in moderation. 4. Fatty Fish Excellent sources of omega-3 fatty acids, which have been connected to a lower risk of type 2 diabetes, include salmon, sardines, and mackerel. Additionally, they offer high-quality protein free of bad fats. 5. Legumes Black beans, lentils, and other legumes are full of fiber, protein, and other essential nutrients. They can help control blood sugar levels and have a low glycemic index. 6. Nuts. Nuts such as almonds, walnuts, pistachios, and others are rich in fiber, protein, and good fats. When ingested in moderation, they can help increase insulin sensitivity and lower the risk of developing diabetes. 7. Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt has fewer carbohydrates than conventional yogurt and is a rich source of protein. It could be a good alternative for a nutritious snack to help control blood sugar levels. 8. Cinnamon. Cinnamon has been demonstrated to increase insulin sensitivity and lower blood sugar levels while not being food. Use it in baking or sprinkle it over yogurt or porridge. 9. Tomatoes. Lycopene, an antioxidant found in abundance in tomatoes, may help minimize oxidative stress and lower the chance of developing diabetes. Enjoy them in sauces, cooked, or raw. 10. Green tea. Compounds included in green tea have been shown to increase insulin sensitivity and reduce blood sugar levels. Make it a go-to beverage option in place of sweet beverages. Although these foods may help prevent diabetes, it's also important to eat a balanced diet, keep portion sizes in check, and get regular exercise for overall health and diabetes prevention. A healthcare expert should be consulted for specific advice and direction. Thanks for watching. Ten foods to prevent obesity. A well-rounded strategy that incorporates a balanced diet, regular exercise, and healthy lifestyle practices are necessary to prevent obesity. The following foods can help you control your weight and your general health even if there are no specific foods that can prevent obesity on their own. 1. Fruits and Vegetables These have lots of fiber, vitamins, and minerals while having few calories. They give you vital nutrients while making you feel full. Make an effort to include a range of fruit and vegetable colors in your meals. 2. Whole grains. Pick products that contain whole grains, such as whole wheat bread, brown rice, quinoa, and oats. Compared to refined grains, whole grains are higher in fiber and offer more enduring energy. 3. Lean protein sources. Include sources of lean protein in your diet, such as skinless poultry, fish, eggs, lentils, and tofu. Protein makes you feel content and full, which lowers your risk of overeating. 4. Low-fat dairy or dairy alternatives. Choose low-fat milk, yogurt, and cheese, or dairy-free substitutes for these foods. These are lower in saturated fats and offer calcium, protein, and other necessary nutrients. 5. Nuts and seeds. Choose low-fat milk, yogurt, cheese, or dairy-free substitutes for these foods. These are lower in saturated fats and offer calcium, protein, and other necessary nutrients. 6. Healthy fats. Include sources of healthy fats in your diet, such as avocados, olive oil, nuts, and seeds. Healthy fats can increase your feeling of fullness after meals and are crucial for general health. 7. 
legumes. Beans, lentils, and chickpeas are low in calories and high in fiber and protein. They can be added to salads, soups, stews, and other foods as a meat alternative. 8. Fish. Salmon, mackerel, and sardines are among the fatty fish that are great suppliers of omega-3 fatty acids. These beneficial fats have been linked to lowering inflammation and assisting with weight control. 9. Water. While not a food, drinking water regularly is crucial for maintaining overall health and controlling weight. It aids with digestion, controls appetite, and discourages overeating. 10. Herbs and spices. Instead of using high-calorie sauces and dressings, flavor your food using herbs and spices. Without adding a lot of calories, they enhance the flavor and variety of your recipes. To prevent obesity, keep in mind that mindful eating, portion control, and regular exercise are all crucial. It is best to speak with a medical expert or a certified dietitian for individualized advice and direction based on your unique requirements and medical conditions. Thanks for watching. powerful ways to speed up the body's metabolism. You can burn more calories and improve weight management by increasing your metabolism. 10 effective techniques to maybe quicken your body's metabolism are listed below. One, regular exercise. Your metabolic rate can be raised by doing both aerobic exercises, like jogging, cycling, or swimming, and strength training, like weightlifting. Aim for at least 150 minutes per week of moderate-intensity aerobic activity or 75 minutes per week of strenuous activity, along with twice-weekly sessions of strength training. 2. High-intensity interval training, HIT. Short bursts of intensive exercise are interspersed with rest periods in HIT training. Even after the workout is complete, this sort of training can boost metabolism and improve calorie burn. 3. Strength training. Strength training can help you gain lean muscle mass, and since muscle requires more energy to maintain than fat does, it can raise your resting metabolic rate. Include in your regimen workouts that focus on the main muscle groups. 4. Stay active throughout the day. To raise your general activity level, include more movement into your daily life by taking frequent breaks to stretch or walk, taking the stairs rather than the elevator, or parking further away from your destination. 5. Stay hydrated. Your metabolism may momentarily increase if you consume enough water. Particularly cold water may cause your body to burn more calories as it attempts to warm it up. 6. Eat protein-rich foods. Comparatively, to the digestion and metabolism of carbs and lipids, protein requires more energy from your body. Your metabolic rate can be raised by including protein-rich foods like lean meats, poultry, fish, beans, and dairy in your meals. 7. Consume iron-rich foods. Because iron is necessary for delivering oxygen to cells, a lack of it might cause a sluggish metabolism. Lean meats, spinach, lentils, and fortified cereals are among the foods high in iron that you should include in your diet. 8. Eat small, frequent meals. Your metabolism can stay active if you eat multiple modest meals throughout the day rather than a few large ones. Aim for meals that are well-balanced and contain protein, fiber, and healthy fats. 9. Spice up your meals. Spices with certain components, including ginger, cayenne pepper, and chili peppers, can boost fat burning momentarily. To increase metabolism, season your food with these spices. 10. Get enough sleep. The control of your hormones and metabolism might be affected by inadequate sleep. To ensure a healthy metabolism, aim for 7 to 8 hours of quality sleep each night. A quicker metabolism may be supported by these techniques, However, individual results may vary. For general well-being, it's crucial to maintain a healthy, balanced lifestyle that includes frequent exercise, a wholesome diet, and enough sleep. Thanks for watching. Ten Wonders of Black Cumin Seeds the potential health advantages of black cumin seeds, commonly known as black seed or nigella sativa, have been lauded. Here are 11 potential benefits of black cumin seeds, albeit further investigation and proof are required. 
1. Immune support. Black cumin seeds have long been utilized to boost the immune system. They might boost the body's natural defense mechanisms and have immunomodulatory effects. 2. Antioxidant power. Antioxidant-rich chemicals found in black cumin seeds can help shield cells from the oxidative harm brought on by free radicals. 3. Respiratory health. For ailments like bronchitis and asthma, black cumin seeds have been employed. They could benefit respiratory health because of their potential anti-inflammatory effects. 4. Digestive comfort. Traditional remedies for digestive discomforts include bloating, gas, and indigestion including black cumin seeds. They might have antibacterial qualities that aid in maintaining a healthy digestive system. 5. Healthy skin. Black cumin seed oil is occasionally applied topically because it may be good for the skin. It might enhance general skin health, lessen inflammation, and hydrate the skin. 6. Cardiovascular support. According to certain research, black cumin seeds may have cardioprotective properties, including the capacity to support normal levels of blood pressure and cholesterol. 7. Joint health. For centuries, black cumin seeds have been utilized to support joint health. They could be anti-inflammatory, which would help lessen pain and inflammation. 8. Cognitive function. According to a preliminary study, black cumin seeds may boost memory and cognitive function while also having neuroprotective properties. However, additional research in this area is required. 9. Weight management. Although they are not a miracle cure, black cumin seeds can help with weight loss. According to some research, they might contribute to losing weight and shrinking the waistline, possibly by affecting the metabolism and appetite. 10. Hair health. Hair care products sometimes contain black cumin seed oil. It might support healthy hair growth, strengthen hair follicles, and hydrate the scalp. It's crucial to keep in mind that while black cumin seeds may have certain advantages, results may differ from person to person and further study is required to completely comprehend their mechanisms and effects. If you are thinking about utilizing black cumin seeds for a particular reason, it is best to speak with a healthcare provider for individualized guidance and to go over any possible drug interactions or pre-existing medical issues. Thanks for watching. causes of stroke. When the blood flow to the brain is diminished or stopped, it damages brain cells and causes a stroke. Stroke has a number of underlying causes and risk factors. Here are some typical reasons. One, high blood pressure. The primary factor causing strokes is hypertension. Blood arteries can be harmed by high blood pressure which also raises the chance of having a stroke. 2. Smoking. Smoking damages blood vessels and encourages the growth of blood clots, which raises the risk of stroke. 3. Diabetes. Diabetes that is not under control can harm blood arteries and raise the risk of stroke. 4. High cholesterol. High levels of LDL cholesterol, also known as bad cholesterol, can increase the risk of stroke by helping to develop plaques in blood vessels. 5. Atrial fibrillation. An abnormal heartbeat known as atrial fibrillation has been linked to the development of cardiac blood clots. A clot can result in a stroke if it enters the brain. 6. Obesity. Obesity or being overweight raises the risk of stroke. It frequently coexists with other risk factors such as high cholesterol, diabetes, and blood pressure. 7. Sedentary lifestyle. Sedentary behavior and a lack of regular exercise can all lead to the development of risk factors for stroke, including high blood pressure, obesity, and diabetes. 8. Excessive alcohol consumption. Excessive alcohol consumption can lead to high blood pressure, blood clots, and an increased risk of stroke. 9. Drug abuse. Due to their impact on blood pressure and blood vessel health, illicit drug usage, especially cocaine and amphetamine use, can increase the risk of stroke. 10. Family history. Due to their impact on blood pressure and blood vessel health, illicit drug usage, especially cocaine and amphetamine use, can increase the risk of stroke. It's crucial to remember that addressing these risk factors and establishing a healthy lifestyle can avoid many strokes.
Important preventative measures for stroke include regular exercise, eating a good diet, reducing blood sugar and cholesterol levels, quitting smoking, consuming alcohol in moderation, and obtaining medical attention for problems like atrial fibrillation. A healthcare expert should be consulted if you are worried about your stroke risk in order to receive individualized advice and direction. Thanks for watching. Can zombies exist on a biological level? Did you know that by injecting spores into a dead insect's brain, the Ophiocordyceps fungus can transform it into a zombie? If we said we hadn't previously given this issue some serious thought, we wouldn't be alone. The majority of individuals are troubled with questions about the possibility of zombies after viewing a zombie film or television show. If you fall into this category, look no further because we've researched to clear the air for you. When did the concept of zombies initially capture people's imagination? To start, the idea of zombies hasn't always been so widespread. In actuality, they didn't become a standard horror cliché until the late 20th century. While the fear of the dead appears to have existed from the time of the ancient Greeks, at least. The concept of zombies was first introduced in Haiti in the 17th century. Voodoo practitioners in Haiti at the time concocted mixtures that virtually immobilized their victims and put them into a coma, giving the impression that they were dead even if they were not. Days later, there were stories of these zombies rising from their graves. It was terrifying enough to make anyone dread God at the time, but we now know that pufferfish toxins were to blame. There are zombies all around us. They're simply not human. The ironic thing about zombies in nature is that they aren't very scary. Instead, the organisms or entities that give rise to zombies are the stuff of nightmares. Consider the fungus Ophiocordyceps, which controls the minds and bodies of insects. The fungus takes full control of its victim within a few days of infection, forcing the lifeless shell to climb to a safe, elevated location where it may then bear fruit. To restart the process, it subsequently breaks through the insect's head and releases its spores. But there are other instances of zombies in the natural world. Some worms can infect and take over a host, and then there are the incredibly unsettling jewel wasps. Cockroaches that get neurotoxins from the jewel wasp are paralyzed for up to a week. The zombie cockroach and one of the wasp's eggs are then sealed away in a dim area. A substantial meal is ready for the little wasp when it hatches. Can people become zombies if there are zombies in nature? It depends on your definition of a zombie, but sort sorta. For instance, there are cases of Haitians who were poisoned with pufferfish toxins and rose from the dead, so to speak, acting very much like zombies. There have also been instances where people have had uncommon illnesses that have caused them to behave in a manner like a zombie. People with Cotard syndrome, for instance, may beg to be buried because they believe they smell like rotting flesh or that they are dead or otherwise decay. In other instances, patients made suicide attempts to stop others from becoming like them. Does this imply that zombies could exist biologically? If you're specifically interested in knowing whether zombies like the ones we see on television are real, the answer is no. Even though a zombie apocalypse could seem like a little dark, twisted fun, it's simply not biologically conceivable for a clinically dead person to return from the grave and begin mindlessly attacking people. Although CPR is used to reanimate people every day, they don't suddenly develop a hunger for human flesh. Even so, it's still up for debate whether zombies of any kind are even conceivable. The fungus-infected insects aren't even technically dead. Instead, they're only being kept in check so that the fungus may distribute its spores to an appropriate area. Even the zombification of cockroaches is just momentary. If a young wasp hasn't already drained out their insides, the roaches will return to normal after a week. Where does it leave us, then? Depending on how broadly you define zombies and how much you want them to exist, we contend, the answer will vary. You might easily claim that zombies exist, in some form or another, if you wish to live in a world where they are feasible. The same conclusion, though, has likely been reached by you if you have a more logical mindset. Zombies, as we typically characterize them, simply do not exist. But will there ever be zombies? That is a subject for a different day. Thanks for watching.
10 Foods That Relieve Stomach Acid Pain There are several meals that could aid in reducing the agony if you are suffering from stomach acid pain or acid reflux. It's vital to pay attention to your body's reaction because individual responses to foods can differ. The 10 foods listed below have a reputation for easing the discomfort caused by gastric acid. One, ginger. Ginger can calm the stomach and contains natural anti-inflammatory effects. Ginger can be consumed as a fresh root, as tea, or as ginger sweets. Two, oatmeal. A bland, low acid food like oatmeal can help absorb too much stomach acid. For optimal results, pick basic, unsweetened types. Three, bananas. It is well known that bananas can calm the stomach. They may aid in coating the lining of the stomach and lowering acidity. To make digestion easier, choose ripe bananas. 4. Yogurt. The digestive health benefits of plain yogurt with live active microorganisms are frequent. It has probiotics that can aid in re-establishing the proper balance of good bacteria in the gut and lessen acid reflux symptoms. 5. Green leafy vegetables. Alkaline in nature. Vegetables like spinach, kale, and broccoli can help balance stomach acid. They are minimal in fat and sugar and also offer necessary nutrients. 6. Lean Proteins Lean proteins that are less likely to cause acid reflux include skinless poultry, fish, and tofu. Avoid frying or over-seasoning these proteins because doing so could make the symptoms worse. 7. Melons Melons with a high water content, such as cantaloupe, honeydew, and watermelon, might lessen the acidity of the stomach. Additionally, they are easy on the stomach. 8. Whole grains. Foods high in fiber, such as brown rice, whole wheat bread, and whole grain pasta, can help absorb too much stomach acid. They give off steady energy without making the body acidic. 9. Aloe vera juice. Because of its calming effects, aloe vera might lessen gastrointestinal inflammation. However, it's crucial to select aloe vera juice that is intended for internal consumption and to take it as directed. 10. Chamomile Tea Tea made from chamomile flowers is frequently used to soothe the stomach and lessen symptoms of acid reflux. It can aid in easing the esophageal and stomach muscles. Keep in mind to pay attention to your body and seek medical advice if you have persistent or severe stomach acid pain. Depending on your particular circumstance, they can offer specialized counsel and direction. Thanks for watching. Ten features in terms of health from figs fruit. A fruit rich in nutrients, figs may provide several health advantages. 10 characteristics of the fig fruit that are connected to health are as follows. 1. Fiber content. Figs are a top-notch dietary fiber source. They can encourage fullness, support blood sugar control, and encourage healthy digestion, all of which can help with weight management. 2. Potassium. Potassium, a vital mineral that supports heart health, bone health, and blood pressure regulation, is abundant in figs. 3. Antioxidants. Figs have a variety of antioxidants, including flavonoids and phenolic chemicals, which can help reduce inflammation and guard against chronic illnesses like diabetes, heart disease, and cancer. 4. Calcium. Calcium, which is important for strong bones and teeth, is present in figs in reasonable amounts. 5. Magnesium. Magnesium, which is essential for supporting healthy neuron and muscle function, controlling blood sugar levels, and fostering normal blood pressure, is found in abundance in figs. 6. Iron. Iron, which is present in figs, is necessary for the production of red blood cells and the movement of oxygen throughout the body. 7. Vitamin K. Vitamin K, which is necessary for blood clotting and bone health, is found in abundance in figs. 8. Low Glycemic Index Because they digest slowly and have a low glycemic index, figs can help control blood sugar levels. 9. Prebiotic Properties Figs include prebiotic fiber, which can aid in fostering the development of advantageous gut flora and enhancing gut health. 10. Anti-Inflammatory Properties 
Anti-inflammatory characteristics of the fig antioxidants may aid in reducing inflammation and enhancing general health. Overall, figs are a fruit that is rich in nutrients and has several health advantages. They could promote a healthy digestive system, blood pressure, bone health, and general well-being if you include them in your diet. Thanks for watching. Explanation of the Mediterranean Diet The traditional eating habits of Mediterranean Sea adjacent nations including Greece, Italy, Spain, and Turkey served as the inspiration for the Mediterranean Diet. It is now well known for its possible health advantages and has been linked to lower chances of certain chronic diseases. An explanation of the Mediterranean Diet is provided below. One. Emphasis on plant-based foods. A variety of plant-based foods should be consumed, according to the Mediterranean diet. Fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, nuts, and seeds are included in this. These foods offer an abundance of dietary fiber, antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients. 2. Healthy fats. Healthy fats, mainly those produced from olive oil, are encouraged by the Mediterranean diet. This diet relies heavily on olive oil as the main source of additional fat. A few additional sources of good fats are nuts, seeds, and avocados. Monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats, which have been linked to heart health, are abundant in these lipids. 3. Moderate consumption of fish and poultry. Fish is a good source of omega-3 fatty acids, which are known for their anti-inflammatory qualities. And the Mediterranean diet supports the moderate eating of fish. Moderate amounts of poultry are also used. Compared to other dietary patterns, red meat is taken less frequently and in smaller amounts. 4. Dairy in moderation. The Mediterranean diet includes moderate amounts of dairy foods like cheese and yogurt. They offer vital minerals like calcium and protein, yet they are not over-consumed. 5. Limited consumption of processed foods and sweets. The emphasis of the Mediterranean diet is on whole, unprocessed foods and it discourages the intake of processed foods, refined grains, added sugars, and sugary drinks. Desserts and other sweets are normally only eaten occasionally and in moderation. 6. Red Wine in Moderation The Mediterranean diet is known for its moderate red wine consumption, especially during meals. It's crucial to remember that this is optional and not advised for people who cannot or don't want to drink alcohol. 7. Social and Active Lifestyle Along with eating habits, the Mediterranean diet emphasizes the value of living an active lifestyle and sharing meals with loved ones. Walking is a common form of regular exercise in the Mediterranean region. The Mediterranean diet has been associated in numerous studies with a number of health advantages, including lowered risks for heart disease, stroke, type 2 diabetes, some malignancies, and increased longevity. The Mediterranean diet is a broad dietary pattern. Therefore, it's crucial to keep in mind that individual food selections and portion amounts may vary depending on cultural, regional, and personal preferences. A licensed dietitian or healthcare expert can provide you with individualized guidance regarding your unique dietary needs and objectives. Thanks for watching. Importance of Organic Food for Health Due to its alleged health benefits and environmentally friendly manufacturing practices, organic food has grown in popularity. People believe organic food to be crucial for their health for several reasons. Even though scientific research on the subject is still in its early stages. One, Reduced Exposure to Pesticides Synthetic pesticides, herbicides, and fertilizers are not allowed to be used in organic farming procedures. People may limit their exposure to these toxins by eating organic food. Though the overall health effects of these variations are still being researched. Several studies indicate that organic produce generally has lower amounts of pesticide residue than produce cultivated conventionally. 2. No genetically modified organisms, GMOs. Genetically modified organisms are not allowed in organic food. 
Although scientists continue to disagree on the health risks of GMO ingestion, some consumers buy organic food because they desire to avoid consuming GMOs. 3. Nutrient Content Research on this topic is conflicting, although some studies have found that organic fruits and vegetables may have a modest excess of some elements like vitamin C, iron, magnesium, and antioxidants. However, the nutritional differences between foods cultivated organically and conventionally are typically negligible and may differ depending on the particular crop, growth circumstances, and storage techniques. 4. Antibiotic and Hormone-Free Animal Products Antibiotics and growth hormones are not permitted in organic animal production practices. This could restrict exposure to hormone residues in animal products and lower the risk of antibiotic resistance. 5. Environmental Impact Water conservation, biodiversity preservation, and reduced soil erosion are the goals of organic farming operations. People can help create a more sustainable food system and lessen any potential environmental harm from traditional farming practices by supporting organic agriculture. Although eating organic food may have advantages, it's vital to remember that not everyone can afford or obtain it. Regardless of whether they are cultivated organically or commercially, a variety of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and legumes can still be consumed to maintain a balanced diet. Maintaining good health requires emphasizing a balanced diet, food safety procedures, and general healthy lifestyle activities like frequent exercise. Thanks for watching.